Okay. I, uh, I wanted to make a video about this guy. His name is uh, Gerald Salente. And he's a trends forecaster. Um, he has predicted... Uh, like the, he predicted the collapse of the Soviet Union. He predicted this whole housing crisis that we have going on now, um, and especially in uh, like 2007, 2008. He predicted that to the day that it started. Um, and he says, he says it's not very, it's not very hard to, to see where this country and the world is going um, in terms of like economic standing, right? He says you need just a moderate understanding of economics and you need to be able to read history books and connect dots and connect concepts in order to uh, realize trends and then predict the future. So uh, that's uh, uh, this guy is saying some really scary stuff actually. Um, and I wanted to talk about him. Uh, I wanted to, I wish I had prepared more for this video. As, you know, anyone who watches these know, uh, I don't, I don't really prepare. I just kind of turn on the camera and wing it. And there's reasoning behind that, and I have many videos. One in particular explaining why I do it that way. So if you are interested, just, just look for that. I think it's called Why Am I Doing This? Oh no, it's called why I am making videos using this method, I think is what the video is called. Um, but, yeah, I I just, Monday starts spring break, and even then, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have time to, to organize these videos more. Um, I, uh, I may start writing for a developing news organization. Um, it'll be political writing, it'll be political commentary. And if I do get that job, then I uh, I will certainly kind of like transcribe uh, from what I write and I'll just kind of like talk about it on video. So it'll be kind of like my, my job will facilitate these YouTube videos. Um, yeah, and that'll uh, that would be nice for you guys, I guess, or for anyone who, who cares. But anyway, back to Gerald Salente. Um, I'm going to post some, some info about him in the, in the uh, information box and um, also some uh, two, two videos he was in. He was in this, on this Russian television station, and then he was on Glenn Beck, his station. Um, the... The scary thing he says is that if if the current policies continue, if they, if a current uh, the current uh, massive spending and uh, massive inflation of our currency by generating more dollars and and having them flood our currency, um, if that continues, then there will be hyperinflation just like in Germany. So by, I forget the date, I think it was 2014, maybe, um, if the <clears throat> current legislature and current executive continue to behave in that manner, then um, Salente says that New York City, what a time, four minutes, New York City will look like Mexico City. Uh, the dollar will be worth nothing. So you either have gold or some kind of commodity to buy stuff, or you engage in a barter system where you simply trade goods for other goods or you provide services for goods, not necessarily for money. Um, there'll be pickpockets, increase in crime, stuff like that. You're going to want to protect yourself buy weapons, have your property, but if someone suspects you have a lot of money, then you'll probably get raided. Um, and, but it would start, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen overnight, it would start with like tax revolts and civil, massive civil unrest, which will cause tension between the people and the federal government. And he also predicts, uh, you know, the possibility of a, another civil war. 
which it sounds really extreme, but when people are being taxed, like, if you were to, I heard this statistic on the radio the other day, I don't know, I wish I could remember the station, but if you were to, attempt, if, the, if the federal government was to attempt to pay off everything they have spent on the bailouts, which is like over $5 trillion now, or way, way, way over that, and, and pay it off within like, I don't know, like 50 years or something, everyone's income would be half the tax, be taxed like 85%. So 85% of what you make would go to the federal government. Your payroll tax would go up. And uh, that's, I mean, that's going to cause the people in the states to want to abolish or change the federal government, right? Um, so many states, I think like 20-something states, have already, like, they've drafted, the, their legislatures have drafted a resolution um, to become, like, sovereign and independent of the federal government uh, within the agreement of the Tenth Amendment, which says that all powers not enumerated to the federal government um, belong to the states or the people. So any action, which is like 80% of what the federal government does, or what Congress does, any action taken by the federal government that is not in the Constitution, Article 1, 2, or 3, um, belongs to the people of the states. All those powers are for the states. So when Congress says, oh, I want to uh, arm Israel, let me take all your money, all your money, you being the citizens, take all your money so we can arm Israel. That's not constitutional. The states can do that. I can do that, personally, as a citizen. If I think that Israel should have weapons, then I will give my money to Israel. But now, person, my personal belief at the moment is that I don't want to arm Israel. And yet, my federal government is taking money from me and making a statement saying America supports Israel by taking my money by force and arming Israel. I got a little off topic there. But basically, I think you get the point. By the way, I don't have this cut. I got some sores in my mouth. I don't really know what they are, like cold sores. I don't know how they got there. Um, I want to hear. I want to hear. Um, so I'm using this, uh, what is it called? Uh, z xylus, it's, uh, xylactin? Xylacidin? Um, it's for early relief cold sore gel. Cold sore fever blister oil pain treatment. That's why it, it tastes horrible. Like, I don't want to really swallow it. I put it, like, it kind of hardens, but I put it here and right here. It's really nasty. Um, so, yeah, look into this guy. I'm going to post two videos. I'm going to post two videos of Gerald Salente. Look look into him, because it's, it's scary stuff. And uh, I, I've talked about this before, but preserve your wealth now. Purchase gold. Do it. All right. Take care, guys.